Hello parents and pupils of Year 9 and welcome to the Year 9 Parent Information Presentation. My name is Mr Thompson and I'm the Head of Junior School. The purpose of this presentation is to help us to strengthen links between school and home so that we are all working together to ensure that your child has the opportunity to reach his or her full potential during their time here in Grosvenor Grammar School. It is also to provide you with information that you will hopefully find useful as your child progresses through Year 9. I will now hand over to Miss McGuire, the head of Year 9, and you will hear from me afterwards. Hello and welcome. My name is Mrs McGuire and I am the head of Year 9. The purpose of this presentation is to provide you with some information about what you expect whilst your child is in Year 9. So why is Year 9 so important? In the past, some may have viewed Year 9 as a transition year between the introduction to life in school at Year 8 and the end of Key Stage 3 in Year 10. However, Year 9 is much more important than that. It is now a very important academic year as much of the old Key Stage 3 curriculum is now completed in Year 9. Equally, good study habits are also developed in Year 9. Maintaining enthusiasm is not normally a problem. In fact, I personally find teaching Year 9 one of the most enjoyable age groups as the pupils are so open, engaged, still very keen to please and receptive to new ideas. Our expectations, as you might expect, are always high, but we do expect more from our Year 9 pupils compared to those in Year 8. They are expected to be more organised, more independent, and to be able to be more focused in class as they learn. As already stated, much of the old Key Stage 3 curriculum is now completed in Year 9, as Year 10 has become more of a foundation year for many GCSE subjects. Many students actually sit modular GCSE examinations at the end of year 10. Here are some of the key dates, mainly academic, for the year ahead, starting with the issuing of report cards in November, which give an indication of your child's start to the academic year and maybe, more importantly, information on their level of effort and engagement. On Monday the 27th of November, there is a week of formal examinations, with further report cards being issued in January and March. The end of year examinations then take place on Monday the 13th to Friday the 17th of May. We would ask that you help your child to prepare adequately for these important assessments, but also keep an eye on your child's well-being at what can be quite a stressful time. We find that good preparation in itself will help to reduce pupils' anxiety at this time. Note that the parent consultation is scheduled for Wednesday the 28th of February. But if you have any queries, no matter how trivial you may think, then please contact us sooner rather than later, initially through your child's form teacher, or if you prefer, through myself. We do have a careers day planned for the end of June. Your child, working with others in teams, will be able to highlight their ability to develop some of the skills that employers are looking for. Careers day is the start of a number of more formal careers events and lessons, leading to your child making their own options choices for the subjects they would like to study at GCSE. Part of this process will also involve individual interviews with our experienced career staff if you require any further guidance or careers advice for your child, please feel free to contact Mrs Ray, our Head of Careers Education, Information, Advice and Guidance.
Going back to the school assessment dates, these will be preceded by a period of target setting. The pupils, in association with the form tutor and subject teacher, will discuss how to improve in subjects the pupils may find difficult or in which they would really wish to excel. These targets should be specific to the subject in question, be realistic and achievable for the individual pupil, and they should be able to be measured over a set period of time. An example of smart targeting is shown in the next slide. Lesson Monitor is a feature of SIMS, which is the School Information Management System. This system allows us to monitor in real time a pupil's behaviour, achievements and attendance for each class every day. In terms of behaviour, we will be noting how a pupil has prepared for class, the quality of their classwork, whether the correct homework has been completed and submitted on time, and we also sometimes record whether a pupil has inappropriately interrupted a teacher in the delivery of their lesson. Thankfully, very disruptive behaviour is very rare and will be acted upon immediately. We are particularly keen to promote positive behaviour and this can also be recorded on Lesson Monitor. Pupils can accumulate positive marks on SIMS for things like helpfulness, outstanding work and an improvement in effort. The most frequent incidents recorded on Lesson Monitor refer to the lack of pupil organisation, in particular being unprepared for class, failure to complete homework, forgetting to bring in the homework or even, on occasions, failure to actually do the homework. To help improve pupil organisation, the school places great emphasis on the correct use of the school planner. As shown, each pupil is required each week to enter in the planner all the subjects for which homeworks have been set for any given day. These are outlined in the homework schedule which your child received in September and a copy of which is sent to all teachers. Please note that homeworks are recorded for the day that they are due and not on the day that they are set, enabling parents and pupils to see at a glance which homeworks are due for any given day. Your child's welfare is central to the values and aims of Grosvenor Grammar School. And to help promote pupil welfare, we have an extensive pastoral scheme covering a wide range of themes, all with the objective of promoting pupil well-being, resilience and self-confidence. This is covered on two mornings a week during registration and also during a standalone weekly form period, which will be led by your child's form tutor or myself with the aim of us really getting to know your child and for them to feel valued and cared for. Thank you for listening. I sincerely wish your child a successful year in Grosvenor Grammar School. I will now hand you over to our Head of Junior School, Mr Thompson. Thank you for listening. Hello again. As mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, my name is Mr Thompson and I am the Head of Junior School. As Head of Junior School, it is my role to oversee the pastoral care of all pupils in years 8, 9 and 10 and to ensure that they are safe, happy, involved and able to perform to their full potential. I would now like to outline the support that is available here in school for your child. As you can see from the slide, there is a wide range of support on offer. If your son or daughter is struggling to cope with aspects of their work, then the first point of contact should be the subject teacher. I would ask you to please encourage your child to speak to their subject teacher as soon as a problem arises. Subject teachers are experts in their field and therefore best placed to give your child the extra support and guidance that they need. Your child's form tutor is another very useful point of contact. The Year 9 tutors have already begun working on delivering the pastoral scheme of work which deals with issues such as bullying, respect for others, self-resilience and study skills. 
Your child sees their form tutor every morning and also during their form period once a week. If a problem arises, please encourage them to speak to their form tutor as soon as possible. Head of year Miss McGuire is always available to help. However, throughout the day, Mrs McGuire will be teaching classes. If you need to speak to her, please contact the school office and they will inform Mrs McGuire of your call and she will get back to you as soon as possible. If you contact the school and Mrs McGuire is not available, but you really need to speak to someone, then please ask to speak to me, Mr Thompson, as head of junior school. We also have an internal school counsellor, Mrs Caulfield. Mrs Caulfield is a very experienced counsellor who is able to provide support for individual pupils and more sensitive personal issues on a one-to-one -one basis. We also use the services of Family Works, an external organisation with experienced counsellors who offer counselling to help individuals and through challenges such as anxiety, low self-esteem, friendship issues and many others that they face as young teenagers. We generally refer pupils to Family Works counselling when they don't wish to speak to anyone in school or if we feel they require a higher level of support than we can provide here in school. Another form of support is a classroom assistant support programme, which provides additional support to individual pupils who are struggling with issues such as time management, organisational skills and study skills. This programme runs in the mornings during registration and the pupils work with the classroom assistant who has expertise in that area. Referrals for the programme are usually made through the head of year, Mrs McGuire. Any safeguarding or child protection issues should be passed on immediately to a member of the safeguarding and child protection team. The designated teacher in Grosvenor Grammar School is Mr Brunt and the deputy designated teachers are Mr Young, Mr Cowan and Mr Smith. The following slides focus on what you as parents can do to support your child at school. The first point is extremely important and that is to ensure that your child attends school every day. If your child is absent from school then they are missing out on learning that is taking place in the classroom and they are also missing out on the social aspect of school. A 90% attendance may initially seem acceptable, however when you consider that this equates to almost four weeks of lost learning this could have a detrimental effect on your child's education. We therefore ask you to ensure where possible that you do not arrange dental or medical appointments during school hours and also that you do not take family holidays during turn time. Other things that you can do to support your child would be to encourage them to participate in extracurricular activities. Involvement in extracurricular activities allows pupils to pursue their interests outside their academic studies and also helps them to develop their social skills. We would also ask that you support our healthy eating policy. Good nutrition is aligned to healthy brain development in children, which is of course critical to learning. Children who eat healthily, exercise regularly, are likely to perform better academically, feel better about themselves and their bodies, be better able to cope with stress and regulate their emotions better, avoiding feelings of low self-esteem, anxiety and depression. We would also ask that you try to limit your child's screen time at home. I know that that is easier said than done, however all of the advice suggests that mobile phones, tablets and TVs should not be looked at upon an hour before going to bed because it prevents us from getting to sleep and it is also more difficult to process what has happened during the day. We would also ask that you check that your child's homework is completed each night. Please then sign their homework diary to confirm their homework has been completed. Please encourage your child to ask questions in class and to ask for help, whether academically or pastorally, as soon as a problem arises. Please also make sure that your child's clothes are labelled, as this makes it much easier for us to return lost property. The school has a number of social media platforms, X, Instagram, Facebook. If you're able to follow those, 
This will enable you to keep up to date about what has been going on in school. Finally, um, please talk to us. We are here to help and support you and your child. If you have any concerns, please do not hesitate to get in touch. My final slide simply states the aims for your children as they progress through the current academic year and of course throughout their time here in Grosvenor. They are part of the Grosvenor Grammar School family, as you are, and so with all of us working together, um, we can ensure that your son or daughter reaches his or her full potential. Thank you for taking the time to listen. If you have any questions or queries about this presentation, please do not hesitate to get in contact with either Mrs McGuire, Head of Year, or myself through the school office. Many thanks.